amigos, feliz viernes, hoy es viernes, yo soy Rory y estoy contento de estar aquí contigo. Nuestro tema hoy es un tema que varias personas me han pedido a través de, los, de algunos meses. So today is a topic that several people have requested of me over the last couple of months. Y el tema es cómo hablar, darle información al paciente durante los procesos de darle una inyección o ponerle una vía intravenosa. And so it's talking through uh, all the information you give and little steps you talk about when giving an injection and when putting in uh, an IV or catheter, IV catheter, okay? Muy bien, entonces nuestro tema hoy, poner inyecciones y vías intravenosas. Empezamos con un poquito de vocabulario relevante. Let's start with some relevant vocab. Eh, en categorías, so let's look at some verbs and some other vocab, body parts, things like that. Entonces, verbos. Arder. Arder is the verb to burn, like, you know, it might burn a little bit as this medication is going through. Uh, darle, to give you. Dolerle, to hurt. Inyectarle, this is our verb to inject or to give you an injection, basically. Limpiar el área, to clean the area. Mover, to move. Maybe you're talking about moving after the shot or something to... Uh, help with soreness, necesitar, to need, picarle, to sting a little bit, eh, ponerle, just like inyectarle, it's like ponerle la inyección, ponerle uh, la intravenosa, etc., la vía intravenosa, and preferir, prefer, like which arm do you prefer, that kind of thing. Okay, partes del cuerpo, eh, el brazo, arm, el glúteo, um, butt or bottom, and el hombro, shoulder, la mano, hand, la pierna, leg, la vena, the vein, y otro vocabulario, now, a kind of a random assortment, el antibiótico, maybe you're giving antibiotics, right? El hierro, iron, maybe you're giving iron. El medicamento, any kind of medication. El pellizco, this is like a pinch. El suero, el suero is... The word for IV, it's the word for like rehydration fluids. And so in the context of giving an IV, uh, darle suero would be like fluids via IV, you know, that kind of thing. Es normal, it's normal. La inyección, injection. La toallita de alcohol, so like the little cleaning wipe, alcohol wipe. La vacuna, vaccine or immunization. La vía intravenosa, so this is the IV, right? La vitamina, vitamin. Los fluidos, fluids, and un poco, a little bit, like, uh, le duele un poco, yeah, or puede dolerle un poco, something like that. Okay, so that's a vocabulario relevante, not in any particular order of how you would talk through an injection or an IV, just in alphabetical order. Okay, explicando las inyecciones. Let's see if we can put some phrasing and some uh, instructions, education around uh, around giving an injection. Okay, empezamos con, necesito ponerle una inyección. I need to give you an injection. Or vamos a darle something por inyección. We're going to give you something by injection. And maybe that something is antibióticos. Vamos a darle antibióticos por inyección. Vamos a darle hierro, iron, por inyección. Medicamentos, medication, by injection. Uh, la vacuna contra, whatever it might be, the vaccine against uh, la gripe or COVID or lo que sea. Okay? Vitaminas, vamos a darle vitaminas por inyección. ¿En cuál brazo, en which arm, hombro, shoulder, pierna, leg, glúteo, booty cheek, <laughs> prefiere la inyección? Do you prefer the injection? Primero voy a limpiar la área con una toallita. First, I'm going to clean the area with a little, uh, a little wipe. Va a sentir un pellizco. You're going to feel a pinch. Le va a doler maybe un poquito. It's going to hurt a little bit. Or le va a picar un poquito. It's going to sting a little bit. Okay, ya terminamos. Entre más mueve el brazo, we're finished. The more you move your arm, o el hombro, o la pierna, etc., mejor, better. The more you move your arm, the better. El movimiento le ayuda no tener tanto dolor después. So movement helps you not to have so much pain later. Okay, so that's las inyecciones. Eh, hablamos un poco sobre algunos efectos secundarios posibles. 
Después de la inyección, es normal experimentar. So after the injection, it's normal to experience. Experimentar is kind of like a false friend. It looks like experiment, but it's really experience. Es normal experimentar dolor, pain, inflamación, inflammation, enrojecimiento, donde recibió la vacuna. So redness, where you got the vaccine or immunization. Después de la vacuna, es normal experimentar, so after the vaccination, es normal experimentar eh, una fiebre leve, maybe a low-grade fever, escalofríos, chills, cansancio, tiredness, dolor de cabeza, headache, dolor muscular, muscle aches. All right, muy bien. Hey, if you're learning something right now, help us reach more people, help us teach more people. You can do that by liking our video, commenting, sharing, subscribing to our channel, etc. Thanks. It's easy for you to do, and it helps us reach more people and improve more communities through language. So thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, and all those good things. All right, muy bien. Back to uh, la lección. Explicando tratamientos intravenosos. So now let's explain some IV treatments, okay? Vamos a darle medicamento. Uh, por vía intravenosa. We're going to give you medication by IV. Or you could say por suero. By, again, like saying by IV. Voy a ponerle este torniquete. I'm going to put on this little tourniquet. Haga puños así, por favor. So make, make fists like this, please. <clears throat> Voy a buscar una vena buena. I'm going to look for a good vein. Ah, voy a usar esta luz para buscar... Una vena buena. My wife has a really hard stick. And so when she's had some uh, procedures and things done, they are always bringing out the light, bringing out the, like even to the point where this last one she had, they had some um, like ultrasound type thing. They were looking for her veins. It, they, she, <laughs> she really made them earn their money that day. Okay. Uh, voy a limpiar el área con una toallita de alcohol. I'm going to clean the area with a alcohol towelette. Voy a introducir el catéter. I'm going to put the little catheter in. It va a sentir un pellizco. You're going to feel a pinch. Le va a doler un poquito. It's going to hurt a little bit. Le va a picar un poquito. Maybe it will sting a little bit. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a usar esta cinta para pegar el catéter al brazo. Okay. Now we're going to use this tape to stick the catheter to your arm. Voy a colgar su medicina aquí. I'm going to hang your medication here. La infusión tarda unos 15 minutos. So the infusion will go about 15 minutes. El medicamento puede arder un poco. Es normal. So the medication might burn a little. It's normal. Okay. Hablamos de las infusiones de hierro. One of our community members specifically asked for some info about iron infusions and so this maybe isn't all the info you might talk about but it's at least a good start okay si no tiene suficiente hierro en su cuerpo if you don't have enough iron in your body el cuerpo no puede gener generar la hemoglobina your body can't generate hemoglobin la hemoglobina es importante para entregar oxígeno a las células del cuerpo so hemoglobin is important to deliver oxygen to your body's cells Si no tiene suficiente hierro, usted puede padecer la anemia. If you don't have enough iron, you could suffer from anemia. Algunos factores que pueden causar la anemia, so some factors that could cause anemia are sangrado excesivo, like ulceras, ulcers, so excessive bleeding, ulcers, periodos abundantes, heavy periods, etc., Una dieta deficiente en hierro, so a diet that's deficient in iron. Medicamentos que inhiben la absorción de hierro, so medications that inhibit the absorption of iron. La infusión, let's talk about la infusión. Vamos a darle una infusión de hierro por vía intravenosa. We're going to give you an iron infusion by IV. La, inf la infusión dura unos 30 minutos. The infusion will last about 30 minutes. Luego, vamos a observarle. Later, we're going to observe you, or then we're going to observe you, unos 30 minutos más, about 30 minutes more, para asegurarnos que no tiene ninguna reacción adversa, to make sure that you don't have any adverse reactions. Okay, amigos, preguntas. You might have other things you want to say or related um, 
additional information that we didn't cover in this lesson. So, si tienes preguntas or comentarios, please put them in the comment section below and we'll be happy to answer them and continue the conversation on the comment section. Muy bien. Bueno, amigos, gracias por aprender español conmigo. Juntos mejoramos comunidades. Para más español, be sure to head over to the website, commongrandinternational.com. And uh, si quieres tomar un examen de español medio, if you want to take a, a medical Spanish exam, head over to certifiedspanish.com, create your free account, and you can take as many free medical Spanish terminology tests as you would like. Okay, amigos, muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Nos vemos la próxima vez. Chao.